Today I'm so excited because I will bring you along in part two of my kosher kitchen tour and I will share with you how I organize my two fridges, three freezers and one very small pantry in my orthodox Sephardic kosher kitchen. I will of course share with you more tips on how I verify that my food is kosher and bug free and how I store my kosher food properly for it to last longer in the fridge, freezer and pantry and more amazing kitchen hacks. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah Monk and on my channel I share all aspects of my Sephardic Orthodox Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So do not forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tickle and let's jump into it. On our main floor I have our first out of two fridges. On the top shelf, I put all the leftovers from our meals in Tupperware and the food that need to be eaten quickly like the rest of the chicken and some chickpeas. I always try to use them in my weekday meal prep or to use them in our lunches. The second shelf is for our eggs and I have to say that I splurged when I bought these containers. They were $20 at Walmart but totally worth it in my opinion. Here's a little trick that I have learned very recently. To avoid having eggshells when I crack my eggs, I crack the egg on a flat surface. This will allow to create small pieces of eggshells that will stick to the inner membrane of the egg and will not fall into the bowl. When I crack the egg on the edge of the bowl, the egg forms large pieces of eggshells that cannot adhere to the inner membrane of the egg and it will fall inevitably in the bowl as you can see here. So with the first method, no more eggshells in the cake mix and the halal. This drawer is for our quick grab-and-go healthy snacks for our children to learn to eat better. To make sure the grapes are bug-free and for them to stay fresh longer, I give them a water and vinegar bath, three parts of water for each part of vinegar, and then I detach each grape from the vine and I give them a quick look to see if I find insects like this one. After placing all the grapes in the water, I will swirl the grapes in the solution to clean the surface of the grapes and take out junk and bugs. Usually in the grapes there's not a lot of insects beside the odd one like this one. And if you did not see how I check my food to be kosher and bug free, I will leave the link in the description box below and in the link above. After draining and rinsing my grapes, I lay them on a clean kitchen towel and I dry them. While I dry them, I will check to see if there's any holes or damaged grapes and I will put them aside to be consumed rapidly. Once they are completely dried, I will put them delicately in the container and put them back in the fridge. I sometimes add paper towel at the bottom, but usually within two or three days, all the grapes are gone. I have other prep veggies in the glass containers for quick and healthy snacks and this is my two weeks old coriander. It looks a bit sad but still tastes delicious and it will be used shortly. And if you want to know more on how I store my produce properly for them to stay fresh longer, I will leave the video on the link above and the description box below. Here is how I store my celery. I roll it in aluminum foil and this way of storing my celery in the fridge keeps it fresh for weeks. For example, this celery is two weeks old and it looks as green as when I bought it and it is as crispy. On my third shelf, I have my salads. Last week I have showed you how I check my Roman lettuce to make sure it is bug free, but sometimes to avoid all that work or if I'm short on time, I will use these special salads. They are grown in a special bug free greenhouse and they are checked to be bug free before being packaged. If you want to eat bug free salad, this is a great alternative to checking your own salad. We also have some strawberries. I keep them fresh by storing them in an airtight container instead of the little basket they come in and this way they stay fresh and delicious for weeks. These particular strawberries are as beautiful and as firm as when I bought them a week ago. In this small drawer I store produce that are fragile like avocados. Here is another tip. I wrap my lemons in cling wraps so they last longer, especially in this case when I bought a lot of them at the same time because they were on special. And yes, I do wash and reuse my cling wrap. In the back, I have other lemons that are ready to be used shortly and this is why they are not wrapped in cling wrap. 
The other drawer is for all my veggies. I separate the veggies from the fruits because the fruits produce larger amount of ethylene gas that makes the veggies go bad faster, so when I separate them, they both last longer. I have baby carrots for quick snacks and for lunches. I also have some celery root that is individually wrapped to stay fresh longer. And to make my bell peppers last longer, I also wrap them in plastic wrap. Let me show you the difference. Both of these bell peppers were bought at the same time. This one was simply left in the crisper drawer. Notice how soft it is and wrinkly. This one was wrapped in the cling wrap and look at the difference. It is much firmer and healthy looking. Under our baby carrots, we have our cucumbers. They were bought 10 days ago, as I do not go shopping every week. I try to go one grocery shopping every other week to save some time. As you can see, when I unwrap the cucumber, it looks like I have just bought it because all the cucumbers are were stored in paper towels. And yes, I do reuse all my paper towels. The last drawer is for all our fruits, apples, oranges, and tangerine. They are all from two weeks ago and they are still perfect. In the door it is pretty standard, almond milk that we use on Shabbat because we eat meat on Shabbat and we cannot mix meat and milk together. We also have some real milk that is Chalev Israel which means that it has been supervised by a Jew from the cow to the bottle. We also have some wine, this is Bartenura, it's our favorite Shabbat wine, as well as the Farbregen for the Shabbat Kiddush and Avdala. On the upper level, we have our favorite part liquid whipped cream to make non-dairy cheesecake that we will use shortly for our Shavuot cheesecakes and desserts. In the same compartment, I also store all our vitamins. On top, I have some jams, and the most important thing in that compartment is the yeast for the challah. I also have these reusable bags to store my salads on Shabbat, and if you want for me to show you how I store my food on Shabbat to keep it fresh, let me know in the comments below. On the other shelf, I have more sauces like teriyaki, sriracha, mayo, and more hot sauces because as a Sephardi family, we like to have a bit of heat in our food. In the bag tucked away, I have my secret stash of chocolate. I feel bad to keep it to myself, but sometimes I just need my dose of chocolate. Thank God my children do not watch YouTube, so I know my secret is safe with you. The upper compartment of our fridge is for our cheeses, like our Parmesan and sliced cheese. In an Orthodox Jewish home, we do not need to separate milk and meat in two separate fridges because everything is cold, wrapped, and not in direct contact with each other. For us, we simply prefer to keep our cheese separately to find them easily. This is the first of our three freezers. Can I say that even though I love how this fridge freezer combo looks and I feel blessed to have it, the way it was designed was challenging to organize to say the least. But I have tried to organize it the best that I can with baskets from the dollar store, except for the first shelf, which are mismatched containers. So on my first shelf, I have all my meals that are ready to go. I simply need to defrost them and voila, we have a meal. I also have some crumbled Oreo cookies for a quick homemade Shabbat ice cream topping and I also have the best prepared whipped cream to put in my coffee on Shabbat. And with strawberries, yum! Let me know in the comments below, what else would you eat with whipped cream? To make sure we know what can be found in the baskets, I have labeled them with these tags and to make these tags, I used the dollar store chalk writer and the $44 chalkboard labels. I write what's in the basket. It is an easy and super affordable solution. On the second shelf, I store all my grain products and it is mostly for my challah necessities. As another tip, I keep everything in the freezer, especially all my yeast, for them to stay active and fresh and for my challah recipe to always be a success. I also use and reuse the very large Ziploc bags for my challah, and apparently I'm not supposed to reuse the Ziploc bags. Did you ever hear that? Do you reuse your Ziplocs? I would love to know. 
I also have my blue elephant, as also known as my chemical free recycling bag to cover my dough and hala, as well as a pack of instant yeast to make my babka recipe and my one hour hala recipe. The other shelf is for things I need to use rapidly or I know I will use because it is part of my kosher meal plan for the week or for Shabbat. The other shelf is for the rest of my frozen fruits and veggies that I did not use in my smoothies, so I know I need to incorporate them in my recipes this week. I also have my tomato paste and let me share with you this amazing hack. When I have tomato paste or tomato sauce left over to avoid losing it, I will put it in a Ziploc. I will almost close the opening fully and I will flatten it, making sure to take out the air before closing it. Then I take the dull side of a knife and I create lines to form equal portions. Here, I created six squares. I freeze it flat and once frozen, I can easily break it into pieces and use it in the recipes. No more moldy tomato paste found in the back of the fridge. Lastly, I have my big basket where I store big items. A super trick I use is that I freeze all my milk products, including my shredded cheese, so nothing goes to waste. I also store my big tubs of dairy-free ice cream for Shabbat and also the freeze pops for the kiddos. I also put more fruits for my smoothies with my almond flour for it to stay fresh longer and not turn rancid like before when I used to keep it in my pantry. In the door I have some ground walnuts. This funny looking bag is where I put pieces of challah. After doing afrashat challah or separation of the challah, I did a video about it and I will leave it in the link above and the description box below. My husband will burn these pieces of challah dough on the eve of Passover in a big fire. I have some dumpling skin and they are to be used for my future Shabbat prep. I'm so excited to share all the recipes with you. I also have these ice packs that are very useful in lunch, but of course for these invitable boo-boos with our kiddos. I use this whipped topping to make a quick Shabbat ice cream as I shared with you in our last Passover meal prep. With this topping, egg, vanilla, sugar, and voila, you have the best and easiest ice cream. And of course, the recipe will be in the description box below. And at last but not least, we have these little ice pop for the kiddos as a super treat. Before we go downstairs to see our next freezers and fridge, I wanted to show you something. In my after Shabbat routine a few weeks ago, I've asked you for your help to remove the water stains from our dishwasher. And I have tried all your tips and tricks, including the pure vinegar, the dish soap mixture, Windex, and the winner is the pink stuff. I took a very small amount on a damp microfiber cloth and rubbed it gently on the door of the dishwasher and like magic, all the marks were gone. I also tried it on my refrigerator and it worked like a charm. So a big thank you for your help. In the freezer downstairs, I had to organize it because this is how it looked before. But after much research, I have decided to go with these low profile baskets from Walmart. They are $4 each and label them using the same Dollar Tree tags with a chalk pen. And this is how it came out. I stored the big ticket items like bread, buns and challah on the top. And of course, if you want the recipe for my amazing challah, I will leave it in the link above in the description box below. And on the second shelf, I store fish and parv items like these falafel balls that are so amazing for a quick supper on the go. The third shelf has the meat. I store the meat in these Ziploc bags so I can always see what I have and I'll show you how I store them. I remove the meat from their container and place them in a Ziploc. I keep the Ziploc partially open and then I remove the air fully. I flatten the meat inside the Ziploc and close fully the Ziploc. I freeze them flat and once frozen, I will place them upright like a filing cabinet so I can always see what I have. I do the same thing for the chicken breast and chicken thighs. 
Then I have some prepared dessert. If you come over, you will be received with some royal cheesecake and some chocolate babka. Next to it, I have a whole chicken for my super barbecue chicken. In the lower drawer, I fill it with fruits for my smoothies as well as flaky dough for a quick Shabbat dessert. As a gluten-free dough and bourrecas for my gluten-free guests. Finally, the last drawer is for my veggies. I used to store them in bins, but it made no sense as it took so much place. In the door I have the wheat for the blé I put in the Shabbat Daphina or Cholent. I keep it there to reduce the chances of infestation like we saw in last week's video. Here I store all my bananas that I did not want to lose as they were already so ripe because I hate losing or discarding food. I really hope I will use them in my smoothies, but I would love to have your help. Besides smoothies, what can I do with these bananas? Please let me know in the comments below. In the next compartment, I have wonton wraps and egg roll wraps for my next Shabbat prep video. Can you guess the theme of my next Shabbat prep? Let me know in the comments below. This is fake wrap for sushi and Shabbat treats. And then I have more cocoa whipped cream, which is again, so delicious. Now that I have showed you how I organize my second freezer, let's jump in our third freezer fridge combo before going to our super organized small kosher pantry tour. The last freezer is where I keep all the large containers of grain like what we bought in our $50 Shabbat meal prep. I store them in airtight containers and I will transfer them to smaller containers that I will put in my pantry. I also store extra ice cubes and other desserts. Because the second and third freezers are hidden in the basement, I can hide treats and comfort food like these dairy-free ice cream. I would love to know, if you had only one flavor of ice cream you could bring on a deserted island, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. In that freezer, I also store some dairy-free creamer, some chocolate chips, and also some milk, which is always handy in a pinch. In our second fridge, I store all the veggies and fruits as well as the prepared meals for Shabbat and the holidays as we cannot cook and bake on Shabbat and I really prefer not to cook and bake on the holidays. So beside on Fridays or the holidays, this fridge is usually pretty empty. Beside all the fruits that I have prepared during my weekly meal prep on Sunday that I will store there until I place them in our ready to eat fruit drawer in the main fridge upstairs that I have showed you earlier. Finally, for our pantry, this is how it used to look. I know it is pretty horrible. We know that we want to eventually remodel the kitchen, so to make it more organized, I have used these dollar store baskets and I covered the shelf with contact paper. So here, how it looks now. On the top shelf, I have placed all my baskets. In the front row, I keep my most used items, my crackers and croutons in one basket and in the other I store my pasta. For the pasta basket, it is usually pretty full as I love pasta for a quick and affordable meal. When I have leftover dry pasta, I will keep it in a reusable silicone bag like this one with the cooking time instruction inside. I also have some couscous to accompany our easy Moroccan chicken recipe or Israeli couscous as it is a phenomenal side dish or even a salad. We also have some falafel mix, as well as rice vermicelli for our spring rolls, as well as quinoa. In the back, we have baskets with cookies and other treats. The second shelf is for the canned goods. I have the sweets on the left. They are a little bit hidden for us not to be tempted to eat everything on that side. And then I have the sauces and finally the cans. I try to leave space between the rows of cans and bottles so we see what's behind them. It's not Pinterest worthy, but it works for us. Under it, I have my Dollar Tree glass containers where I store my grains and all that I know I will use rapidly. A tip I use when I fill my container with a mix, like in this case, the pancake mix, like the one we bought during our kosher Walmart haul, I will cut the package and fill the glass container, of course, making sure I spill everything everywhere gracefully. I cut out the cooking instructions from the original bag 
and I stick it on the back of the container, making sure I leave a lip to remove it easily once it is empty. After winning the fight against the uncooperative tape, I can finally put back my jar with its instruction. The last shelf is the pride and joy of my small kosher pantry. I took Walmart $2 shoe organizers and piled them up to make a snack station for our kiddos. Every drawer is labeled with what's inside, from bisley to chips to granola bars, extra yummy stuff like the fruit snacks from our Costco haul, all the way to dried fruits, as well as oatmeal for a quick grab and go breakfast, and popcorn for family game night. At the bottom, I have all my papers, aluminum papers, parchment papers, and cling wrap. And on the right, I have my onions all nicely preserved in the aerated box lined with egg cartons. And on the other side, I have my potatoes. And if you want to have more tips and tricks on how I store my fruits and veggies for them to stay longer, fresher, please let me know in the comments below. On the door, I have used a shoe organizer to store all my bags. I have my burger paper bags for our burger nights, my two gallon challah bags, as well as some large freezer bags. I also have an array of Ziploc bags to store the meals we prepare for the community and for us as well when we are in a pinch. We have these cute paper bags that we received as a gift. I usually also store some pre-cut aluminum paper as we cannot cut aluminum foil on Shabbat. We have the cooking bags we use for the rice and the wheat kernels in the cholent or dafina, as well as the crockpot liners that you said I should try. I also have extra reusable silicone bags that we love using. And at the bottom, I have my clothing pins to close all the bags and finally disposable cups. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some inspiration on how to organize your own fridge, freezer and pantry. And I would love to know which tip or hack was your favorite. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. Know that in my book, you are simply fabulous. And without you, I wouldn't be here. If you're here until the end, please write in the comments. I love organized kitchens, so I know I was not alone. And if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up. I